Good morning, Officer Garrett, or should I say good afternoon? Oh my goodness, I just woke up. Are you ready for our night shift? Yeah, I'm ready. I am ready to go. Just got some McDonald's, and yeah, we're ready to head out. All right, like you, like Garrett said, we just got back from, or we just got done with McDonald's, kind of eating, and then we got extra, lots of coffee. So oh, yeah. I am ready to go. I'm gonna jump in my 3500. And Garrett, are you a, are you a police officer? Uh, I am. I am a police and officer. I, I just. What do they pay you? Uh, they they pay me decently. They 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 pay me they pay, they pay me pretty good. I'll just say that. Are you getting anything more than I am? Because I, I okay my my I might be. <laughs> Go ahead. I I might be getting a little bit more than you potentially. Potentially, guys. Okay, so Garrett. No, guys. He just took out a huge loan on that. Don't worry <laughs> about it. We have money left over after buying our F three fifty. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head to the station. Once traffic clears here, and uh, yeah, we have the night shift, Garrett. I hate the night shift. Yeah, I've never, I've never had the night shift before. This Garrett's is... never had the night shift, and he has a Mercedes. Oh my goodness, what a nerd! We're gonna teach him a lesson today, boys. Hey, I usually just take the good hours and get paid the good dollars. I don't know what you're doing over there. You, but just so you know, you are putting out coal like all over this road. Like I can't see. I literally There's can't nothing see. wrong with that. There's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with that. Uh, yeah, okay, guys, Spencer doesn't care about the environment. That's all that means. Oh, oh, okay. So there's Ooh. the old, er, there's the new fire station back there. And me and Garrett are heading over to the police station right now as we speak. And, yeah, we are, uh, we got the night shift today. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. We don't have any too, too many, like, crazy calls. There we go. Awesome. There's the old station or the volunteer one. It's still running. Yeah, the volunteer station's still running as well, but... Here we are. We're going ahead, pull oh. into our station here. Look at guys. This police station has gotten some nice vehicles recently. Like they're ready for everything. Oh yeah, we have a lot of employees already here. We're about to take. Oh, it should. It's me, Garrett, and then we have two people that will be in the station. Me and Garrett will pretty much be patrolling, and uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too busy. There's nothing on our plate, like scheduled. I guess Garrett, if that yeah. makes sense. Yep, yeah, it should be all good. Oh, here we got go. To my blinker off. Oh <laughs> no, getting old, getting old. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Go ahead, and flick them off, and then yeah, we're gonna go ahead, get our uniforms on, get ready to go, get official, and uh, let's do it, Garrett. All right, guys. So me and Garrett are locked and loaded, ready to go. Garrett, go ahead, hop in your your cruiser here, and we will get oh, leaving. Yeah. Okay. I'll doors open for you. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm stuck behind my truck. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go around this way. There we go. There you go. Okay, we're pulling out here. So Garrett, the sun is going down. It's uh, it's six o'clock. So it, it is. We still got a, a, a roughly another hour of sunlight here for us, and we're pretty much gonna cruise around, post around. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. And uh, yeah, just I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna head to the interstate and start posting up. Okay. Uh, and watching for speeders, okay. Ooh, okay, I might have to pull you over there. Jeez. I know, the Durango. I am not used to this bad boy, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Where are you going? I am just going to be patrolling around the streets. I'm thinking I might head over back to that McDonald's because some people over there are a little bit interesting. Yes, they are. They get a little little crazy, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go over to that. I'm going to kind of hide maybe back into the woods a little and see if I can kind of sneak some kind of be kind of hide my car not really i know we aren't supposed to really hide our cars but yeah i'm gonna see what i can do and try and post up here and run maybe run some tickets perfect maybe go over the railroad tracks Ooh. there we go okay i'm right now over at the mcdonald's i'm gonna just check in around here oh a vehicle just ran into me a vehicle just ran into you? Just Are you ran all right? into me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to let them go. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. All right. Perfect. Yeah. I'm just running radar down here. Okay. People slow down so much when they see me. A guy was flooring it and then he just slowly <laughs> went by. I love I, It's kind of funny. You see people break right when they see us. Yeah. They see the cop. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, just stay on your radio, Garrett. I will be on the walkie and uh, yeah, let me know if you need my help. Spencer. Yep. Spencer, you there? Okay. I'm here. Okay. You need me? Nomano is kidnapped. Like, I don't know how. I don't know what happened. We need to head over and try finding him. All we know is that he is kidnapped 
he's missing. He okay. is missing. Light him up. Go ahead, line him up here. Let's get moving. Okay, Nirmano is missing. I got my lights on. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So it, was it a robbery? Well, can I, you give me quick I, one, two? All I can tell so far is that all the info we have is that there was weapons involved in it. Uh, no shots were fired, but somebody reported there being a knife. It was like one of the neighbors reported him. They okay. saw him getting into a vehicle by force. So okay. we need to head, I guess, over to his house. It seems like that's where it happened. Okay, so it was like a robbery kind of, and then it looks like they kind of took him as well. Yeah, it looks like maybe a robbery gone wrong. I'm not, I'm, okay, we are not 100% sure. We'll know more hopefully soon. Okay, uh, we okay. We just have the initial call. Where are you right now? I'm heading over. I just, I'm going through the grass right now. Okay, okay. okay. So Perfect. Normano is, yeah, he's, he's the mayor of the KST, and we got to make sure that he is okay. That would be terrible if somebody came and took him. Yeah. Do you know where his house is? Yes, yes. It's on... It's by Main Street. Okay. Main Street. Perfect. If that makes sense. Uh, the cul-de-sac. Okay, okay, I'm jumping out right now. Perfect. I'm heading over there. His truck is here in the driveway. Okay, his truck looks totally fine. I'm going to walk around back, make sure nobody's around here. Yeah, okay, I'm, back coming, more secure. I'm coming over. Oh, ooh, the brakes on this thing are not the best. Thanks for letting me know. On the 30, 3500, yep. Okay, it's on. You're in the truck. Yeah. All right. It's Yeah, take the loop around the cul de sac and come on down. And then we're going to probably breach it inside here together. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's secure, though. Other units are showing up right now as well. Okay, I'm going to go make sure the neighbor is okay. Okay. He's the one who called. Yeah, it seems like they just took him, but yeah, definitely double check that one. Okay. Oh, guys, look at Nomano's. So you said the truck's good? You said the truck's good? Yep, the truck is totally fine. I didn't notice anything, any dents, any scratches. Yeah. And uh, I don't think anybody's inside as well. We'll go ahead and breach it here. Okay. If you're ready. Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right, so there was nothing inside. Good. Good job, Garrett. We, yeah. we cleared that pretty good. Yeah, so we should have some more units coming on scene, I think, soon. But let's head out. I think we need to start looking for him. Yeah, we're going to have to start looking for him. You're totally right. This is not good at all. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip our lights off. Let's okay. make sure that, you know, we don't want people to think that, like, a bunch of stuff is... Oh, my bad. A bunch of stuff is going on and uh, kind of keep it on the DL. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Guys, Normano is missing. Like, how? Out of everyone, Normano? Like, this is crazy. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I was able to write some tickets, but yeah. No, we oh, need were? to stay focused. Perfect. Uh... And, uh, yes, so Nomano's missing. He's the mayor of KSD. We don't really have any leads besides the neighbor. I, I just got done interviewing the neighbor, and, uh, yeah, he said that he pretty much saw him get forced in by two guys in, like, a van. Okay, okay, so, perfect. Did they say what kind of van or anything, the color or anything like that? They said it was kind of a sm It wasn't your typical van. It was kind of a, uh, a sh it wasn't a straight van. It was more of a work van. I guess you could say. Okay, okay. And Do then I was trying to get, like, the license plate. He didn't see that. Uh, and he also said there was, like, some type of, like, logos on the side. But I don't logos. know. Some... He said he wasn't able to, like, say exactly, like, if it was a business van or what kind of was going on. Yeah, it almost sounds like it could be one of Wild Bill's vehicles. Wild Bill's video? Okay. Yeah. I'm, like... I think it's worth checking out because obviously Nomano and Wild Bill have gone at it before. So I think it's worth checking out. Yes, I agree. Okay, the Durango, the steering is absolutely terrible. Okay, good call, Garrett. Yeah, we need to run through all of our suspects. First and foremost, we need to run through the people that we like, kind of think or suspect maybe. Yeah. That I, could be behind something like this. I'm thinking Wild Bill. He, he loves trucks and stuff too and... I, I, but I don't know about the logos, because I don't think he would... He doesn't really have a stable job, so I don't know why he would have a work truck, but uh, it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thinking. I like the thought, Garrett. Way to, way to keep thinking like that. And, yeah, now we have a suspect. We're going to go check out Wild Bill's house, make sure everything... Hopefully, you know, we don't want Wild Bill to be the bad guy, obviously. Yeah. But we are just, you know, he's one of our top criminals on you know in town so we got to be very very careful here Garrett. Yeah, it's worth checking out guys we don't have a warrant or anything to go inside his house but we are able to obviously talk to him so we'll mm -hmm. see what he has if he wants to, to talk to us yeah. i guess 
Yeah, I don't know if he will, but let's definitely be watching out because we know Well Bill likes to run. He likes to do lots of lots of different things that don't really follow the laws. <laughs> no, no, not really like at all. Oh my goodness. Okay, great call. The more and more we talk about it, the more and more I'm gonna go ahead and pass this Bronco. But uh, yeah. yeah, let's head up to Wild Bill's house. I kind of forget where it's at. Uh, it's just through here. If you go around kind of back, it's kind of hard to get to. Yeah, you can go through this little driver area. Here we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, right behind here. Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. We see a vehicle there. Oh my gosh, okay. We're going to have to cross. Yeah. There we go. Should have brought careful. a truck. I, think you... <laughs> I don't think the trucks. If I made it through, I think you're going to be just fine. Yeah. You should have brought a truck with you. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay yeah. I'm walking around back. I, I'm yeah. just making sure things are secure. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check this vehicle quickly. Okay. Yep. Oh, Did this thing. This thing's hot ride. Jump, jump up and look inside. You can see. You can see that that is that doesn't look normal. Don't think what? he used the key to get this thing. Is that a chainsaw? Okay, Gary, Gary, Gary. Yeah. We cannot be looking in there. Yeah. If he catches us peeping without a warrant, we're gonna be in trouble. Okay. Let's go ahead and knock on the door. Okay. See if he's home. There we go. I knocked. Okay. Okay. All right, rang the doorbell. We'll kind of wait out for a little bit and kind of maybe kind of peep. But, yeah, what was that, Garrett? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay. okay. So that was Sketch inside the – what is this, new Kamaz? I thought he – he doesn't even have a job. I don't even know how yeah. he how he pays for this stuff. I think, I think he, he stole some, it. Yeah. Or he, I think he has some, like, connections or something. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, it's not what we're here for. We're here to find Romano, and it seems like he might not be here. Yeah, Normano. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't see Normano here. Obviously, we can't break down no doors just because we suspect yeah. maybe Bill has something to do with it. And uh, okay, let's go ahead and pull out and just keep an eye open for anything. We really have no leads yet, but stay on the radio, Garrett. Hopefully, our investigators are able to find something. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. De I feel he's a pretty easy guy to spot. Like, especially for being mayor, lots of people know how he looks. But if somebody has him inside somewhere, then it might make it a bit more challenging. Yeah, we aren't going to make this official for another 24 hours. We don't want to let yeah. the, public, the public know their mayor has been stolen. But, uh, yeah, let's keep it on the lowdown. And hopefully we can resolve this in less than a day, Garrett. I think, okay, I just got word that we're going we're gonna to send up a, a heli unit and they want us to man it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's speed up here and let's go over to where's where's the helicopter actually at? I know that there's one at the hospital. Is that the one? That's the emergency one, I believe. They want us to use that one. Okay, go ahead, take that, and uh, yes, there we go. Okay, we still got to fall. We aren't in a huge rush. Just Ooh. go recent decently fast. Yeah. As we get going here. They definitely want to, definitely want to get an air unit up there. Okay, yeah, I think it's just on top of here. It's just the emergency one, so it's used for police and for, like, air support for, like, EMS. Like, medevac. All right. In all my years of being a police officer, we have not had something this crazy ever happen. Usually, we just, you know, we have run-ins. We have, we got to chase people down. We have to help people. We have to, obviously, tickets and everything goes along with being a police officer. We have not had something this crazy. We're in a relatively small town. Garrett, if you want to go take the elevator, do whatever. Go okay. jump. Uh... Go grab the helicopter, and we will... You can come down and pick me up or something. Okay. Sounds good. Starting her up. There she is. All right, Garrett's the one with the license. I'm going to be his spotter. And, uh, yeah, Garrett, I am worried for no mana. Hopefully, we can find him here today. It's going to get dark. We might. Garrett, we got about 45 minutes of flight time. 30 minutes. Okay. Sounds good. I'm just going to land on the grass just in case yep. any, any ambulances come to the hospital. Do you, are there any? Is there any information from any of the other units? Uh, let me look. Let me look. I'm on my computer right now. Um, yes. Okay, they just got word. One second, I'm trying to jump in here. They just got word. Am I in? Uh, I don't know. There. Okay, there I'm in. Go. I'm in. I'm in. Nice. Okay, I'm looking on my computer. I'll I'll look at my computer while you fly up. Okay. The investigator, there was like a bunch of broken glass. It looked like he was struggling. And then they got from the neighbor across the road, a really old lady. 
that it was two white gentlemen, and then it was a van, a work van. Work van. Okay, okay. She confirmed the work van, and then she confirmed many logos on the side, and uh, yes, a very unique work van. Okay, okay. Do you ha- do you have any kind of like idea of where they might have taken him? Like I was thinking, Wild Bill probably took him, but it seems like he didn't. So any other ideas? Um. Okay. So the search. The police chief told us to we're gonna we're gonna scope out a few. We're just gonna. Sp- Span over the town, and if we don't, obviously, you guys, small town, Garrett, we're gonna have to head across the across the channel and go over to the woods, and we're gonna probably have to send a search and rescue team out there tomorrow, early, bright tomorrow morning. Okay. I don't know. That's yeah. Just keep, I'm looking as you're flying here. Perfect. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to look too, but obviously I'm trying to fly, so it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, this is this is crazy, guys. Okay, perfect. All right. So the move is yes, okay, awesome. We might remember we only have so much time. I think what we're going to do, Garrett, is in town we can always keep patrolling at night, but we can't fly. Go ahead, go over to the woods. We want to see if we can spot like some t- yep, perfect. There we are. Some type of smoke, some type of something. Oh, okay. Cuz if we see movement down here, it's either loggers or you know a few like tourists or it's or it's them so definitely, i guess we definitely. can keep our eyes open there the bridge is still under construction oh we guys this bridge is taking so long to be built like it's crazy i know i know okay nice move garrett let's just yep keep peering over i know guys i know this forest is super dense but we want to kind of catch them in the act this has been what it's been an hour and 30 minutes since we've gotten the call so yeah we still everything's pretty pretty good chance that they're still moving they're still trying to do whatever they're trying to do and we did close down the uh the airport here so hopefully we're able to contain them to their van yeah i'm trying to fly kind of near the path i i don't think they would go off-roading with a work van no they could go hopefully we can find the van or something that would be really good yeah, okay, I'm going to lower down here just so we can kind of look around because this is one of the big campsites. I feel like they would be around here, but they might not be. All right, I didn't see anything down here. Go ahead, pull up. Let's keep on looking. I want to go to the, there's another, there's a really good, uh, what am I trying to say, a logging spot that's pretty wide open. Go ahead here. Let me pull up the map. Go ahead and, yep, keep going that way. Okay, I'm going to follow along the path, I think, okay, just in case. Okay, actually pull a 180. Do a 180 okay. for me. Okay, so you want us to go above the trees? The opposite direction. Keep going, keep going. Yep, you're going to have to go up and over. Okay. Let's and go see. to the left just a bit. There we go. Can follow this path, I think. Yep, keep... Pull up, pull up. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's actually a little bit weird. We might be getting low on gas. I think okay. it looks like we are getting kind of low. We aren't, though, empty yet, so... Okay, what we're going to do, Garrett, follow this path, keep pulling up. We're going to climb an altitude here, and then uh, it's at the peak that this logging site is. I feel like this could be this could be something. Okay. Wow, this is a big mountain. Yeah, no, this this is the this is the top of the top. The cream of the crop. All right. <laughs> here we go. Oh, oh I, spot, I spot something. You okay, see that okay, directly okay. below yeah, us? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going down, I'm going down. Go ahead, spin around, and let's kind of peer, and then slowly descend for me, please. Yeah, I see some kind of skid marks. I feel like this vehicle is in a rush. Okay, yeah, guys, I saw a flash of the white vehicle. Okay, there it is, yep. Okay, you see skid marks, you said? Yeah, I see skid marks right behind the vehicle there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and jump out here. Oh, okay. (laughs) There we are. Oh, yep, you're right. Okay, so they must have came in okay so they must have came through pulled around really sharp turn and then just slammed on it they could have been out of gas flat tire something then they kind of went into this tree shut the doors when they left okay yeah so it's a work van logos everywhere garrett i think yeah. this is i think this is the one this is the work van that took Numano. okay garrett we're gonna have to get dogs up here the helicopter unfortunately we're gonna have to take it back getting low on fuel and light Yes, yes, we dogs, are. Dogs, um, ATVs, dirt bikes. 
We need a search crew. Okay, Garrett. This is uh, this is going to get crazy to be continued. Thank you guys so much for watching here today. We're going to have to end it. It is getting dark. And, uh, yeah, we found the van. Super good clue. It's been about three hours since the last call. And, yeah, we're going to have to call this off till morning. Garrett, let's uh, let's jump back in the helicopter, leave. Okay. And we'll kind of have this tapered off. And uh, that's going to be it for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we can find Armando.